3 mark arithmetic progression question anna heng solve madadu anta ee video alli nodana let's look at the 3 mark arithmetic progression question what is the question the question is about a line segment on the line segment mele question yen line segment there is a line segment which is divided into four parts those four parts form arithmetic progression so one line segment ide adu nalak part to divide madidare a nalak part to arithmetic progression follow madutte then they have given a relationship between the third and the fourth part third and the fourth part add madidare they have given a relationship with the length of the first two parts finally they have given what is the length of the fourth part fourth part you know the code here what is that we are supposed to find we are supposed to find the total length of the line segment so it's around line there if i were to draw and it is kind of divided in arithmetic progression so hopefully let's try to draw it in arithmetic progression okay roughly and this is given as 14 cm and the relationship is given between these two and these two so our job is to find what is the total length which is sum of all terms okay so let's see exactly what is given and what is not so let the progression be for the for our case let's just say the progression is a1 a2 a3 a4 okay what is given yen kotiyare the sum of 3 and 4 is 3 times the sum of a1 a1 and a2 the kodiya the sum of 3 and 4 parts is 3 times the sum of the length of the first two parts that's what we have written there and then bar didi next fourth part is 14 cm fourth part is 14 cm what is that we are supposed to find yen kandidebeku ella sum kandidebeku how do you solve this the way to solve this problem is using the generic term formula formula to find the generic term okay an equals a plus n minus 1t so hang enter no na so what is that we do a3 plus a4 is 3 times a1 plus a2 okay that is what we know let's see what is a1 a2 a3 a4 so a1 is first term which is a a2 is a plus d A three is a plus two d and a three is a plus three d. If you hang mad the way, if you just use this and substitute the different values of one and two and three and four, you get this. Okay. So if you take that, if you take these a one a two a three a four and substitute in this, what do you get? So we'll substitute mad the name. A three is a plus two d. A four is a plus three d. And then we are multiplying that with three a and a plus d a plus d is a2 okay na so idu add madidre en baruthe so this thing becomes 2a plus 5d and this thing becomes this thing becomes 3 times 2a plus d so you'll know so effectively this is 2a plus 5d equals 6a plus 3d so iga if we bring this to the left hand side what do we get we get Minus 4a, yeah, okay. 6a, you cut a bundle, minus 6a, minus 6a. So minus 6a plus 2a is minus 4a. 5d minus 3d becomes 2d. So minus 4a equals zero. So let's call this equation one. Then equation one and the third one. So using the first relationship, I'm going to find the equation one. Now let's go to the next one. What is that they have given? A4, 14, and the cut here. So given a four is fourteen, what does it actually mean? So that becomes a plus three d equals fourteen. Okay. Now let's write both equation one and equation two. Equation one, we got from the first part. So e part in the name gave equation one bantu. Equation two, we got it from the second part, which is length of the fourteen. So even at equation note there, what do you see? ಇವೆರಡು ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲ
So it is a pair of linear equations. So how do you solve pair of linear equations? Tumma method is there. E case le, I will try and solve it using um, cross multiplication method. Okay. Ian hang andre. One thing you can notice is illi 4a there, illi a there. If I multiply the second one by 4, then this becomes 4a plus. And then if you sub add 4a, 4a, hot out there, we can find the value of d. Okay, so that's what we'll try. So let's multiply the second equation by 2. So what happens when you multiply the second equation by 2? So a becomes 4a, d becomes 12d, 14 becomes 14 times 4, which is 56. So this is what we get. Let's call that equation 3. If I put equation 1 and equation 3 together, you can see if I add, this part becomes, if I add, this part goes and we can find the value of d. Let's do that. So I'm doing 1 plus 1 plus 3, which ends up as 2d plus 12d equals 56. What is this? 14d equals 56. 14d 56 other d n 4. So 14d 56 other d becomes 56 by 14, which becomes 4. That is what we have written here. So d value got it. So we found the value of d. Once we found the value of d, then we can substitute. Other than substitute model e equation. E equation substitute model. A value is so in order marna. So using d equals four, 4 in this. So yeah, the d equals 4 and the a equals 14 minus 3d. So what we have done, we've just moved from left hand side to right hand side. 3d na right hand side move madhra, negative i I mean 3d substitute madhra, 14 minus 12, which means a equals 12. A equals 2. So a 2 i So a go that d go that so a2 d4 okay you got what is the progression in progression now first to 2 because that is a second a plus d which is 6 third 6 plus d which is 10 and the fourth one is 14 okay so you do line segments so line segments are 2 6 10 and 14 so now again, Beko, what is that we want to find? We have to find the total length. Total length hang on here though. We just have to add this. Add mud beko. So add mud range. If you add all of those, you get 32 centimeter. Okay. So either just by using um, the generic term and able uh, by solving linear equation, pair of linear equations. Now, this problem is solved. Okay? Generic term equation no, and this equation, we can solve the entire problem. Okay? In the next video, there are problems. No.